Ambassador Jura is an Assistant Secretary General for Public Diplomacy, have a role in conveying uh, Alliance's strategic and political messages uh, to the general public. According to this, what was, what is your message that you are now conveying to, to the Macedonian public here in Skopje? Well, first of all, uh, I would like to give a strong message that uh, NATO uh, is adapting itself constantly uh, and we are taking the uh, growing challenges of the, our time. We are living in a complex uh, security environment and we are trying to respond uh, to uh, those challenges. First, uh, strengthening our uh, defense and deterrence, but at the same time we are also having a component of dialogue because dialogue is essential. Uh, uh, with all countries uh, and in this case uh, Russian Federation for instance and second is to project stability beyond our borders uh, when we talk about uh, uh, NATO's enhanced role uh, in fight against terrorism uh, it requires a comprehensive approach uh, to have the value added of uh, NATO uh, in uh, making uh, its contribution in, in the international effort uh, so that we deal with this uh, challenge properly. Uh, you had meetings with uh, government officials here in Macedonia. What you heard from them and what you told them? I think my visit uh, here for the last two days in Skopje provided me uh, with a very good opportunity to understand the uh, uh, better understand the uh, reform oriented approach of the government uh, and uh, they uh, uh, explained uh, all uh, the steps being taken uh, in the uh, reform uh, front but also uh, in uh, uh, eliminating certain uh, problems bilateral issues with neighboring countries you mean the name issue well, uh, it is not only the name issue, but also relations with Bulgaria. And I think uh, we, what we need to see is uh, you being engaged with neighboring countries in resolving some of the uh, problems of the past and also with the will and capacity to contribute to regional cooperation. Uh, and uh, for NATO uh, membership aspirations uh, I uh, have uh, explained uh, and it is also something that uh, Secretary General Stoltenberg uh, emphasized uh, 2008 uh, Bucharest uh, summit decision still stands it was reiterated by uh, the heads of state and government in Warsaw summit meeting uh, that means uh, that uh, uh, the invitation to join NATO would be extended when mutually agreeable solution has been reached on the name issue. But also when you read the uh, uh, declaration of the Warsaw Summit meeting, you will see language about the importance of uh, reforms uh, to be delivered. The latest uh, announcement of your government, uh, as you call it, Plan 369, uh, is a good uh, indication that uh, they are aware of the necessary homework to be uh, tackled in a serious manner. Uh, I'm taking uh, uh, with me many uh, good ideas, uh, statements uh, from uh, the leadership of your country. Uh, and uh, I'm sure that uh, it will contribute to the ongoing dialogue uh, 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 between uh, NATO and your country. Uh, during these talks, have you felt the frustration which is a result of waiting too long in front of the NATO doors, speaking about Macedonia? And you also said that uh, in the future months, Macedonia is going to be under spotlight from the Allies. Are you optimistic that in the soon future uh, Macedonia is going to sit at NATO table? Well, first of all, uh, one could easily understand public uh, sentiments when 
there is an ambition and uh, your athletic aspirations uh, is something uh, of a national nature. It's a national project. It is uh, something to be supported across the board. Uh, it is uh, about party politics and all uh, components of nations should embrace it. And I can see that uh, it is uh, a national project for your country with the uh, relatively high uh, percentage of public support. Uh, and uh, there may be instances one could get disappointed, sometimes frustrated. By, uh, but I uh, would like to inject a sense of realism and uh, to take things in a very pragmatic manner, not to get carried away with emotions. Because after all, we are talking about a country to be fit with all its uh, democratic institutions and defense structures uh, to provide security and contribute to security and defense of an alliance. An alliance which makes uh, its decisions uh, with uh, a consensus decision. So 29 uh, allied nations uh, make their sovereign decision on that. Uh, and uh, uh, the name issue that we referred to and the reforms all together will make the difference uh, in the path for uh, eventual membership. Uh, and uh, uh, I don't think that uh, uh, there should be uh, timelines uh, uh, that you so much uh, focus on, uh, either this month, that month. The important thing is work to be accomplished